Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2015. Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Where it comes to love, all of us in our own way are going to be beginning a series of love lessons, largely thanks to Venus entering shadow late in the month. And next month will begin to go retrograde. So this represents actually larger lessons in love that I talked about for most signs in the 2015 year ahead love horoscopes. So you may want to have a look at that again. But suffice it to say, there are several things taking place this month that I actually think are going to be uh, really relevant for you in the context of love, putting that, that uh, Mercury retrograde in its place. Um, other stuff is happening that is unique to this month that I think is going to help your overall love picture. So one of those things is as we start the month, we are going to have Venus in a part of the sky for you that has to do with um, knowing that you deserve more and stepping up to the plate and claiming your desire to have more. Thinking about the vision that you have and what you need to do now so that you can be more receptive and open to that vision, what you need to do now so you can go after that vision and actually attain some of the higher things that you desire for your life. So we've got Venus in this very part of the sky as you're starting the month. I think that this is continuing to represent for you as we finish off May and enter June. This represents for you an opening of your perception and of your vision of what love could be and what love in a more elevated sense could be for you as well. And then we have Mars. Mars will, in the later part of the month, move into this very same part of the sky as well. And this brings with it a real desire and really going after new experiences and wanting to engage with the world. And this includes in a romantic sense as well. And so I do think, and given that Mars is your ancient ruling planet as well, making it that much more meaningful, those of you who are open to meeting somebody new, want to meet somebody new, this is going to be you really thinking much more broadly. So if before, if you've been looking for somebody online, which is a possibility with this, this is you saying, you know, instead of saying within 20 miles, <laughs> all of a sudden saying, you know what, on the planet, like being more thinking, okay, what else could be out there? You know, let me broaden my search. Let me be more open to the adventure that love could bring and also developing a willingness to actually travel for love as well does tend to show up at this time. If you do connect with anybody right around this time, or beginning late this month and into next month, it could very well be that the person is from uh, somewhere that's either the opposite coast of your country or a whole other country or culture represents a different country or culture to you. Um, it could be that uh, the person actually lives in another place as well. So it ends up being sort of a long distance thing, but it seems to enliven you. It seems to bring an element of hope, of inspiration, of ideas into your life as well. Um, those of you who are in an established bond, I think that this is going to be about considering your shared vision and considering where your vision is your own and where the vision is shared and how it is that you're going to move forward from there. Ultimately, Mars is very focused on self, right? There's a strong independence to this energy. So it's almost as if I'm seeing you change. You're thinking about your goals. You're thinking about what you want to do. You're thinking about who you are differently. You're thinking about your place in the world and what you believe and the experiences you want to have differently and more broadly. Well, how is that going to speak to your relationship? These are going to be themes that start coming up for you starting this month and into next month as well, where there may be some negotiating that needs to take place between you and a partner. And those of you who are uh, dating somebody this also is going to play a part where you're thinking about, okay, where are my values and my beliefs different from this person and where that matters and where it doesn't. So all of this is going to be playing a factor for you as we progress into the later part of the month. But again, this is just one layer to a larger narrative that is going to start playing out before the month is out. Thanks to Venus entering the very top of your sky. This brings an expanded sense of vision, going big or going home. 
in the context of love and in just about every area of life as well. What I love about this month for you is that you have an understanding that love can make you more and can introduce you to more and expose you to more than you knew before. And that's part of what makes love valuable. That was part of what makes life that much richer with love. As you are ready to take on more of the world, as you are ready to embrace new experiences with joy and with sheer enthusiasm, you will find yourself being absolutely attractive. It is that joy and it is that enthusiasm that is very likely to draw love that much closer to you.